Three Ways to Use Google Plus for Better Search Engine Rankings Google Plus, it would be fair to say, has not been quite the roaring success that Google hoped it would be. Google Plus was very much promoted as being a contender that could go up against the likes of Facebook and Twitter. The reality, though, was that it never quite gained the huge following that it hoped, and that it quickly was written off as not really being a success. So, should you, as a creator, ignore Google Plus? The answer is a massive no. And the big reason for this is that Google Plus can still benefit you in other ways. Let's look at how. Add plus one buttons. There was a time when Google promised creators that adding plus one buttons to their pages could help them to rank better on the SERPs. Unfortunately, it's unclear as to whether or not this is really the case. Some creators report that Google Plus massively helps their rankings, while others have accused Google of lying. Either way, it doesn't hurt to include this option and potentially reap the rewards. What's more is that this will certainly get you into the personalized SERPs for anyone in your network, and anyone in the networks of other people who have hit the button. Share in communities. Google Plus communities are a little like subreddits. These are online communities where people with shared interests can meet, post links, and have discussions. When you post something here, you can get seen by everyone in that community, and hopefully get a few more plus ones as a result, which boosts your ranking. Communities are a fantastic option because they are targeted and give you a massive audience, but they aren't as competitive or as oversaturated as the aforementioned subreddits or numerous online communities. Build your network. If you get lots of people to follow you on Google+, then all the people who do will see your posts when you share them to your page, and will all have those posts come up in their personalized search. The easiest way to grow your Google Plus network is to spend time in the communities engaging in discussion, to follow other users, and to keep posting content. Don't forget as well that you can promote all your social media accounts, both on your website and through any other form of media, be that a YouTube channel or anything else. Top 5 Facebook Marketing Mistakes You Need to Avoid Facebook is a social media platform with over 2 billion users. This makes it a humongous opportunity that marketers simply can't avoid to miss. But while it's important to make sure you are marketing your business on Facebook, what's more important is to ensure that you're going about doing so in the right way. There are far too many people who invest time, energy, and money into marketing on Facebook, only to not see the returns they expect because they went about their marketing in the wrong way. Very often, it's the same mistakes you see time and time again. In this presentation, we'll look at five of the most common to help you avoid making them. Boring Posts What a lot of businesses and creators seem to forget is that their posts need to be interesting. Otherwise, what motivation will their followers have to remain followers and to read new posts as they come up? This is why it's so important to share interesting site posts, videos, or at least insights into your personal routine. Inconsistency. Another of the most important things to ensure with your brand is that your posts are consistent that means you should be posting to social media on a regular basis, whether that's daily or every other day. Don't just leave your account to turn into a ghost town. Not responding. Social media is not a one-way system. This is a tool for communication, first and foremost, meaning that you should respond to questions, comments, and messages. This builds trust, and it also raises engagement, and interest. Not using a professional design. If you created your logo yourself and your cover image, and you're hoping to get people to sign up to your account in droves, then you're unfortunately wasting a lot of time and effort. People will sign up to brands only if they look professional, trustworthy, and informative. To stand a chance, you need to be genuinely competitive with the biggest brands in your industry. No synergy. 
Social media works best when you combine it with other forms of social media. For the best chance of creating a successful Facebook page, you also need to invest time and effort into Twitter, Instagram, and Google+. This way, you can create a brand that is consistent and that is present all around the web. Advanced Social Media Marketing Tactics to Get a Ton of Followers Are you sitting comfortably? Do you have a pen and paper at hand? Great, because we're about to dive into some of the best social media followers that you've never heard of. Any of these techniques can potentially help you to reach a larger audience and get more clicks, shares, and likes. So stay tuned and let's up your social media marketing game. Number one, talk to people. It sounds simple, but you'd be surprised how few brands and channels actually do this. If you want to get more people to follow you, then just be a little more active. Like images by other creators on Instagram, comment on their posts, and follow them. If you take a look at a large proportion of Twitter and Instagram accounts with 1,000 plus followers, almost all of them also follow 1,000 plus people. Number two, make video. This isn't quite so easy. Video requires a certain amount of equipment, knowledge, and skill. But that's precisely why it is crucial for social media success. YouTube and Instagram go hand in hand. Not only does it give you a platform where people feel they get to know you, but it also elevates your status thanks to the high production values on display. This is content that you couldn't have just put together in your mom's basement, and it suggests you're a professional who knows what you're doing. Number three, go live. When social media marketing began, it was a lot easier. That's because fewer people were doing it, and this made it much easier to stand out. Now, everyone has a social media page, and getting noticed is much more difficult. But the new kid on the block is live. Going live on Instagram or Facebook is something that social media platforms want to push and that few creators are getting involved in. So if you can find the time and energy to give it a go, you might just do that so your whole audience is notified and you can make a big impact. Plus, they get to talk to you directly, which transforms the way they see you. Number four, network. This is absolutely crucial. You must network if you want to succeed, and surprisingly, the best way to do that is by networking in person. Go to events, speak with people, and make real connections with people. How to set up your first Facebook live stream. Creating a Facebook live stream is a powerful and easy way to engage with your audience, to encourage sales or email signups, and generally to take your brand to the next level. Unfortunately, it's also an aspect of social media marketing that many people are quite wary of and have no idea how to approach. It's a daunting prospect going in front of a massive audience without the benefit of proofing, checking, and editing to protect you. With that in mind then, let's take a look at how you can set up your first Facebook live stream and make sure that it goes smoothly. The good news is that getting started is actually pretty easy. To get started, just open up Facebook using your app, and then head over to your Facebook page. Now, click on the button that says Post. This will take you to the next page, where you can click on Go Live, which is the second option down. This will open up the live feed, and you'll be ready to start recording right away. Your visitors will get a notification saying that's what's happening, and people can then choose to get involved and comment if they so wish. That's how you set up your first Facebook live stream. Pretty easy. But how do you make sure it goes well? That's a little trickier. The first thing to consider is that while this is live, that's no excuse for a very shoddy production quality. Your visitors will tune out if the video doesn't look good and sound at least somewhat crisp. To ensure that it does, make sure that you have a high-quality camera phone. If you don't, then consider borrowing one. The Nokia 8 is designed specifically for this purpose with a 13 MP front-facing camera and a binaural mic. To improve sound quality, you could consider using a lapel mic. Simply clip this onto your shirt and plug it into the microphone jack. Think about your environment too. 
Make sure that it is quiet and that there is ample light. The backdrop should look professional, so no piles of dirty laundry. Finally, make sure that you get word out before you go live. Doing a little research as to where most of your viewers are located and what time they're most likely to be able to view can help, but make sure that people know about it. Post to your Facebook page and other social media accounts an hour beforehand. Personal Branding in the Modern Day of Social Media Personal branding is an immensely fascinating concept when it comes to marketing, and one that will be naturally interesting to many people. Essentially, personally branding means taking your name and your image and turning that into your brand. This is a way for people to potentially achieve a minor form of celebrity online, hence the mass appeal while also presenting an opportunity for businesses to reach a much larger audience in a far more personal and impactful way. In this presentation, we're going to look at what personal branding is, why it's exciting, and how you can make the most of it. Personal Brands Explained The best way to explain a personal brand is to suggest a few examples you can learn from. Take Tim Ferriss, for instance. Tim Ferriss is a prominent creator, an author, a podcaster, and someone who has a massive online following. Part of Tim's success comes down to his branding. Notice how you know his name, rather than a company. The same goes for someone like Tony Robbins, or perhaps Pat Flynn. These are people whose names come first. Elliot Hulse or the Hodge Twins are similar examples, as are many more YouTube personalities. If you choose to create a personal brand, then the name of your social media account is your name. The things you post are clips from your life, and the business name takes a back seat. Why it works There are many reasons that personal branding works well, and particularly when combined with social media. For starters, a personal brand makes your website and business feel much more personal, and it makes people feel as though they know you and can relate to you. That means they'll feel as though they can trust you, and in turn, that means they'll be willing to buy from you. Another reason it works is because people love living vicariously. People love getting an insight into the lives of others, and this way, your social media will become much more interesting and addictive to follow. Finally, though, using yourself as your brand allows you to sell the value proposition. A value proposition drives most successful products. This is the promise for what your product can do for people. It is the lifestyle you're promoting and the emotional hook. By having a personal social media account, you can show yourself living the lifestyle you're selling. And when you do that, people will be inspired to buy your product. Quickest ways to piggyback off of Instagram influencers. In this presentation, we're going to be looking at one of the most powerful strategies that any business or brand can use to promote itself, leveraging the power of influencers. An influencer is someone who has already amassed a large number of followers and trust on social media. They might regularly post to YouTube, Instagram, or somewhere else, and either way, they will now control the hearts and minds of thousands or even millions of followers. The good news is that these people are individuals, and many are just hobbyists. That means that they will often be excited at the prospect of working with a big brand, that's you, and especially if there is financial incentive involved. This is a win-win situation then, so how do you go about getting the most from the method? Choose wisely. The first tip is to ensure that you choose your influencers wisely. Don't necessarily go for the biggest person in the niche first, as they will get hundreds of offers a month, and you may not be able to compete. Instead, choose an influencer who is currently on the way up. They'll enjoy the boost they get from you, and you'll get to grow with them. Send review products. One of the quickest, easiest, and cheapest ways to get promotion from an influencer is to send them a product review on their channel. Just send them your product early to give them the exclusive, or to make it an exciting prospect, and often you'll get free coverage.
Of course, this doesn't guarantee a positive review, though. So make sure the product is good, the approach is right, and the influencer is fair. Pay for a shout-out. Paying for a shout-out of some form is a very quick and easy way to get access to a large audience. This can be as simple as sponsoring a video and getting a short message at the start. Message them. Easier still, just message the creator and see if they respond. Team up for an ad. A little more involved, but still highly effective, is to team up for an ad. This means you're going to pay to have an ad created and or put in the time and effort to create one yourself. However, you're going to star the creator, which will give them a massive boost and give your video a massive boost. Tips to creating headlines that will click with your audience. Social media and content marketing are a match made in heaven. Adding content to your site gives your site value. It gives people a reason to visit and to keep coming back, and it lets people know that you know your stuff. This is how a one-time visitor becomes a full-time subscriber and fan. But while content can do a lot of good, it's only effective if it is found. And this is why posting your new articles and blog posts to social media is a great way to generate interest and drive visitors. This is only useful, however, if the people who see those posts actually click on them. In this presentation, we'll take a look at why that doesn't always happen and at what you can do to ensure that it does next time. As you might have guessed, it all comes down to the title. The place you need to look to for inspiration is clickbait. Clickbait is a term used to describe a certain type of article that has been designed specifically to try and attract as many clicks as possible. Unfortunately, the term tends to be somewhat derogatory, and the reason for this is that in most cases these articles don't deliver on their promise. They promise the world and purposefully sound highly inviting, but then when the user clicks on them, they tend to be disappointed with the results. What we need to learn as creators is how to use the same practices as clickbait to get attention while still not misleading our visitors. So what do clickbait titles do to get people to click? Often, the number one strategy is to use a sense of suspense, mystery, and excitement. So these titles will very often, in some way, tempt the visitor to click. They might do this by leaving out a key detail or by alluding to something exciting within. Examples include Top 10 Ways to Lose Weight. Number 4 is Life-Changing. A woman walks onto a train. What happens next will blow your mind. The best of these, though, will gain an emotional reaction by suggesting that there is some hidden secret or life-changing fact inside. The former example does this to an extent, as does the classic Lose weight with this one easy trick. The problem is that these articles rarely have any useful tip or trick to share. And that's where we're going to be different. Instead of promising something vague, do your research and find something genuinely useful, interesting, and specific that you can share. And then use that in order to promote your articles. Use the precise name or a stat or anything else that makes people eager to click. But make it based on actual research. Top 5 Advantages to Marketing Through Social Media Social media at this point is simply a fact of life. There is no getting away from the huge amount of influence that social media has on our daily lives or the way it has changed the very nature of our relationships. And with that, of course, comes interest from marketers. But it's not just the size and prominence of social media that makes it so appealing to this end. In this presentation, we'll uncover the true appeal of Facebook marketing for businesses, entrepreneurs, and more. Size. With over 2 billion monthly users, Facebook accounts for over 30% of the population of Earth. That's a massive statistic. And it shows why you absolutely cannot afford to ignore the role of social media in your marketing. Instagram and Twitter are behind, but not by a massive amount. Communication. 
One of the most important facts to remember about social media is that it is first and foremost a tool for communication. That is to say that unlike other forms of marketing, this is a method that allows the recipient to talk back. That is transformative because it means you can get feedback about which aspects of your marketing are working. And it means you can survey your audience and more. Networks. Another huge advantage of a platform like Facebook is that it gives you access to real-world social networks. That is to say that the relationships on this platform reflect real-world relationships and friendships. So when someone shares something with their network, they're sharing it with people who are likely to be local, to have similar interests, and to take their referral seriously. This also gives the content you share huge viral potential. Targeting. Social media platforms are perfect for businesses because they provide the opportunity for marketing and reaching a massive audience, but also targeting and reaching a specific audience. It is better to reach 100 people who are likely to be interested in what you're selling than it is to reach 1,000 people who have no interest. Statistics. Using social media marketing gives you access to detailed statistics and analytics that can help you to better understand how your marketing is performing, what you need to change, and how to impact your audience even more. When you combine all these factors, you have a form of marketing that is potentially leaps and bounds above others. So get involved. Five Keys to an Effective Instagram Marketing Campaign Instagram is actually the second largest social media platform, right behind Facebook. Not many people realize just how influential this platform is, or just how potentially powerful it can be, thanks to its very nature. The fact that Instagram focuses on images rather than text makes it much more impactful and engaging. They say a picture is worth a thousand words, and this is certainly true especially when you consider that most people on the web are in a big rush and don't have time to sit down for a good read. But what's even more powerful about Instagram is its ability to tell stories and to sell a dream and a lifestyle. In this presentation, we'll look at five ways you can make that happen. 1. Get a good camera. The first tip is to get a good camera, presuming you're making the images yourself. While you can get by to some extent with a smartphone, taking stunning high-definition images with macro effects and more will be much more effective. 2. Have a consistent look. Instagram allows you to take an average-looking image and make it look incredible using filters and changing settings. This has a lot of potential for creating a stunning account, but it risks resulting in a somewhat chaotic and disorganized look. Avoid this by being consistent with your design and direction. Have a consistent color correction. 3. Sell a lifestyle. The best Instagram accounts for businesses are those that tell a story and sell a lifestyle. In other words, your images should show you using the product or service that your brand is known for, and it should be done in a way that allows your followers to live vicariously. 4. Post regularly. As well as being consistent in your look, you also need to be consistent in your frequency. Don't go for weeks at a time without uploading anything, or your followers will forget all about your brand. Keep that momentum going. 5. Think about marketing. Instagram is a marketing tool for many, but in order for it to grow, you need to market the account itself as well. This means bringing people to your profile and getting eyes on your images. And you do that in a number of ways. Working with other influencers, using synergy between social media platforms, using the right hashtags. Where to find free graphics and images for your social posts. Images are absolutely crucial for your social media campaigns. While it may be your copy that provides the real meat of your messages and the value, it's the images that will attract attention and get people to share, like, and click. What's more is that an image can immediately elevate your message in a massive way, 
and make an entire page or even website appear more professional, more polished, and more trustworthy as a result. The only problem? Many of us don't have the necessary skill, time, or know-how to create these high-quality images for our own social media channels. Listen up, then, and let's take a look at some of the best places you can find high-quality images to use for free. Stock Image Sites One way to get images is by using stock sites. These include the likes of iStockphoto, Stock Exchange, and Unsplash. All of these sites provide a selection of different images that you can use completely for free, as well as some that you will need to buy a license for. There are also some interesting alternatives for sites that are a little different. For instance, New Old Stock is a website that shares old images that no longer have any copyright license attached. These are perfect for retro-themed channels and posts. Similar is Vintage Printable. This is a site that offers a ton of fascinating vintage images within a range of different categories. Smart Tricks there are other smart tricks you can use, too. One is to search Google Images or Imager using advanced settings to show up only Creative Commons images. Another useful strategy is to simply try reaching out to creators with images that you want to use. Try following photographers on social media or visiting their websites. If they post images that you like the looks of, then simply get in touch and ask for permission to use them. There are a variety of ways you can create images, too. For example, a screenshot of a computer game or film can count as fair use and be used to accompany a post. Similarly, you can create some great images by arranging items in your home. There are plenty of ways to fill your social media accounts with stunning images, so don't give up if the answer isn't obvious right away.